hello my beautiful subscribers welcome back to another video it's your boy toasty taste and today i got something very special for you guys so i'm recording this at 11 o'clock p.m i've been thinking all day of different ideas for a video and i couldn't think of anything until i realized i could just react to someone else's videos but I had to do a twist. You see, today we're gonna be reacting to who I think are the three biggest YouTubers that I've ever seen that have stopped making videos as of uh, what's today, May 6th, 2021. Because, you know, I wanted to reminisce on the past. I think YouTube in the past is way better than it is right now. I mean, we're slowly getting back to it, you know? You know, YouTube channels like Cold Ones, you know, and Max Mofo, they're not as edgy as they used to be, but. It's nice that they're still there as well as Swagger Souls and Fits and them. They they really make a huge difference to the YouTube platform because I, I really do think it's dying, <laughs> at least in that aspect. But anyways, before we get into this video, make sure you guys click the subscribe button. Make sure to leave a like. It's totally free and you could always change your mind later. So without a further ado, let's just jump right into this. All right, boys, the first person on our list has to be Niga Higa. Please don't cancel me for saying that. But this guy used to be so huge back in the day. I think he was, I think he was the number one YouTuber at some point. I do not remember that, but I remember this guy was a powerhouse, all right? He made videos that were banger after banger. And I used to watch all of his videos back in the day. Um, as you can see, he has, he currently has 21.4 million subscribers, which is really good. You know, that's like, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? We're just gonna watch the most popular videos, all right? We're gonna see if they can still have that same type of zing that they used to have back in the day, now in 2021. And of course, we get a Disney ad just right off the bat. Oh, fucking do it again. Okay, so just looking at the stats, he has 85 million views on this. That's his most viewed video. He has 1.1 million likes. So uh, let's just jump right into this and see what, what, what we got going on here. There's our boy Ryan. Finish last, that's why I'll treat you like trash. It's not what I really Oh yeah, I forgot, but a lot of YouTubers back in the day, they did make a lot of music videos. <laughs> that was like the biggest thing. But there's our boy Ryan. <laughs> oh look at him. Ryan from what year did he come out? Wow, this video came out in 2012. Holy shit, I was eleven at that point. God damn. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the best video in the world since it came out in 2012. I have pretty high hopes, but honestly, it's probably going to be a lot of cringe since this is really early YouTube. You want to do, but you only date bad guys, so I'll give you my best try to treat you the way you want me to. Ooh. I'll never open the door or pull out a chair. You can tell me how your day was, but I don't really care. <laughs> I, I'm just cringing so hard, man. Ah, oh, why? Why? All right, maybe, maybe YouTube now is way better than it used to be. <laughs> oh, I'm just cringing so hard, man. I'm just cringing. Ah, uh, come on, man. I'm sure the other videos aren't this bad, right? All right, next YouTuber on the list is Ray William Johnson. All right, I could not finish that other video by by Ryan because, come on, let's be serious. I was just going to be cringing the whole time. I, I, I didn't even know what to say. It was not funny. But hopefully, this video came out 11 years ago. Yeah, this video came out in 2010, two years before the other video came out. Let's see if Ray William Johnson's most popular video could make me laugh and not cringe as much as Niga Higa's. Okay, so equals three most popular video is called Don't Call Me Fat 2009. Okay, so it tells you this is from 2009. If you can't tell right here where it says August 23rd, 2009, or how it said that it came out 11 years ago. Or if you can't tell with this fucking font. And what, what are the, what is the setting? 480. <laughs> 480p that's the best quality dude oh my god that's it's insane what's happening for him i'll be the okay i had to pause it real quick that is such 
the 2009 transition, man. I, I, come on. You, you actually think you could get away with that now? That is such a terrible transition. Like you want to be hip and cool, you know? The first to admit that I love jumping on trampolines, like this girl. It looks fun, right? Yeah, keep watching. Although it's funny, it's kind of weird that the trampoline broke. I mean, if you look, this girl isn't like overweight or anything. In fact, she's actually rather thin. But you know, from this point on, her friends will refer to her as that fat girl who broke the trampoline. Hey, way to go, fatty. Hide your chapstick or that fat girl will eat it all. I'm just saying, you know they're going to make fun of her. <laughs> oh, do you guys remember we could we used to be able to make fun of fat people? You guys remember that? Before people started talking about fat shaming? You guys remember we used to be able to make jokes like this? Without any repercussions? Like, it was, it was okay to make jokes. You guys remember that? That is so crazy. Looking back at this video... And looking at videos now, you can't really do that anymore. I need you to check out this video of this drunken woman who really, really wants to dance. I am f***ing great. Oh, you dance. What is what is the name? It's time for the percolator. That's the dance. It's time for the percolator. We're gonna compete about that. It's time for the percolator. Go ahead, girl, dance. Do the percolator. Get up on that glass table and show us how it's done. Christ. Ready for this? Oh, we're ready. Show us how to percolate, girl. It's time for the percolator. <laughs> what kind of shit were people on during these times? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Like, does this shit happen now? I feel like I feel like since social media wasn't that big of a thing in 2009, a lot of these videos just feel a lot more raw because they're not scripted. And they don't have, they, they, don't, they don't come in with the intentions of any monetary gain. They just come in thinking like, oh, this is what I do. This is who I am. So it feels very genuine. Is that just me? Or do other people, or are you guys feeling that too? Is it just me? Am I the only one that thinks that this is, this feels way more genuine than the videos that we get now? Now that a lot of things are scripted and are done just to make money. Is that just me? I don't know. Just so this video doesn't get too long, I'm gonna move on to the next YouTuber. The last one that I think everyone knows, Smosh. If you've ever been on the YouTube site in 2010, 9, 11, 12, 13, maybe even 14, you guys will remember how much of an influence Smosh had on the YouTube community. These guys were so huge. I remember they had, I think maybe two movies they released and they had a couple mobile phone games. And I remember right here, Food Battle was huge. These guys were like the pinnacle. The, these guys were the top of YouTube. And I know they're not dead, but I think it still counts since Anthony isn't a part of Smosh anymore. And since he's not a part of it anymore, the YouTube channel just became way different since it's not something that two people created. Now it's like a corporate thing. Like it's an actual business. So I'm considering it as that it's gone. So this video actually came out before equals three made his most popular video. This video came out 13 years ago, which is two more years than the other one. So this came out in 2007. There's no way it came out 2007. Wait, wait, 2008. Okay. Okay. That's, that's not too bad, but I was seven. I don't think I, no, I, I definitely was on YouTube. Stickman on crack. You guys remember that? Oh my God. I used to watch it all the time. It has 105 million views, 210K likes. That's it. Why did, why did, why did Ryan Higgins gets a million? Why? Cause it's, this is not a music video. That's crazy. That is stupid. Wait, you can watch this episode in Spanish. Wait, these guys have a Spanish YouTube channel. <laughs> what? I didn't know they had a Spanish YouTube channel. What? What is this? <laughs> what is that voiceover? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Uh, uh, this is so bad. What the fuck? Look. Why did it even go with that voice? It does not match him at all. Oh, uh, what? 
What is this? I I'm just at a loss of words. I didn't know S Smosh even had a Spanish channel. Why would they? Why would they need a Spanish channel? I can't even react to this. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just shocked that it's in Spanish. I thought it was going to be like a troll or something, but it's in Spanish. This whole thing is actually in Spanish. These guys probably paid someone to do voiceover on their own video that they did in English. Just so that they could put it on this channel. What is it even called? El Smosh? El Smosh? You guys know El Smosh with their hits like Beef and Go and Espanol? Huh? Do you guys you guys know El Smosh? What? <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. I, I, I'm not even gonna react to the video anymore. You know what? This video just turned to shit, alright? I don't give a fuck. Alright? I... This, I, I don't even know what this video even turned into, okay? You, this is what I'm leaving you guys with. This channel, this channel has a billion views. That's insane. I don't know, man. I, I'm just at a loss of words. This is what I'm leaving you guys with, all right? If you guys can't fuck with it, then sorry. I don't give a fuck, all right? I don't give a flying rat's ass. This is what I'm leaving with you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.